Well, he owes a lot of money to the federal government, and now his political opponent wants him to drop out of the race for the city council president. WMH News' Jeff Hager shares that politician's message for Nick Mosby and why he owes it to the voters, they say, to call it quits. The federal tax lien cites three years' worth of unpaid taxes totaling more than $45,000 and names Nick Mosby and his wife Marilyn the city state's attorney. The lien against Nick and Marilyn Mosby's house on Bolton Street represents an October surprise just before the November election. And Mosby's Republican opponent, Giovanni Patterson, says the former councilman and state delegate should do the voters a favor. I strongly uh, would suggest that the, the Mosby's actually, you know, kind of pay attention to what's going on uh, with the personal finances before being concerned uh, with what's going on with, with the three billion dollar budget of the city. Uh, so, you know, my, my plea is for him to actually, you know, drop out the race, uh, because at this point, you know, it, it just demonstrates that. Uh, there's some level of mismanagement uh, within within the household. In his career as a tax attorney, Judah Gabay says $45,000 pales in comparison to other IRS cases he's dealt with, and the complications of pulling money out of a 401k can involve what qualifies as an exemption and what does not. It does not necessarily mean a wrongdoing. What happens is, you know, you have this liability and you're contesting it with the IRS, and you know, you're going back and forth with the IRS to try to get this resolved. And being that sometimes with the IRS, things take a little bit longer than usual before you know it, a lien may get filed just because the IRS wants to protect his interest. In a written statement, Nick Mosby says as much, mentioning he has, quote, been in ongoing conversations with the IRS for five years about the tax consequences of an early withdrawal from his retirement savings plan which he did to support unplanned expenses after a series of family tragedies. But at a time when Marilyn Mosby already has the city inspector general investigating her travel and business ventures as the city's top prosecutor, there's little question the lien against their home has opened the political couple up to scrutiny in the midst of a campaign season. This is an example of two people from the same household having too much power within the city. And, and, you know, things like this, uh, what, what, could, what, would, what would be this consequence if we have now two people in positions of power that would then lose their positions? So now we've vacated two high-ranking seats within the city government. In a written statement, Ning Mosby says he also plans to have the issue with the IRS resolved in the coming days. Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.